Hi there, got a lovely engine here, I'm really excited about. It's gonna be great to show you this and, and get it up to the RC field and, and get it clamped in a, a test stand. This is a Hungarian engine. It's a, a Moki 61, I think that's how you pronounce it, Moki. The, the company that made this, it's got a, a good long reputation. They've been making engines since the, the, the mid 50s, I believe, 1950s. And excellent workmanship and, and, and quality. So we can see here, Moki 61. If we turn that over, we can see M61 and LS. LS, I believe, stands for long stroke, which uh, is designed to, to make this a, a low revving engine, but with bags of power. And we've got a, a BCM muffler on there. I don't know whether that shows up in the light, but it's just got BCM stamped here. It looks like it's been repaired a little bit rough at some point, but the engine itself looks lovely. It's got a twin needle carb, and it's we've got the high speed needle on this side, and then on the same side, we've got a disc. A little bit like on the, on the pericarbs, there's a disc there. And if we look really closely in there, we can just see a little plus and minus sign and a couple of, couple of markers there. Now this, as I said, Moki engines have got a really good reputation for quality. And you can tell that when you feel that throttle. It is so smooth. I don't think I've ever felt a throttle on, a, on, a, on an engine that's that smooth and that positive. No slop at all. That is beautiful. So, as I, I don't know whether I said this is a, it, it's a ringed engine. And I'm not sure of the date of this, but I, I don't think it's that old. I think it's probably from the early 2000s. And I think having this swept back needle gives that away. I mean, Moki 61s have been around since, since the 90s. But like I say, I think this is a, a slightly later one with, with, with this carb. But anyway, we'll get a prop on this, we'll take it up to the RC field, and I'm really excited to see what this can do. Well, I've arrived at my local airfield and it's a lovely, quiet, sunny day. And I've got this fantastic Moki 61 LS. And I'm really excited to get it into the test stand because it just seems to be built really nice, really nicely finished, and that carb is just so smooth. So anyway, I've got a 12 by 6 prop on it, which I hope is going to be big enough, we'll see. And I'm going to be running it on a 7% nitro mix with 20% oil, and that's a 50-50 with synthetic and castor. And the plug in here is an OS number eight. So I'll get this test clamped in the test stand and we'll make some noise and see how it goes. Okay, well, I've done nothing to this engine other than check the plug works and take the needle valve out uh, three, three turns. And I've never run this engine, so it's gonna be interesting to see how it goes and whether it starts at first time, but we'll, have a look. Right. Whoops, just a little bit too much there. Just leaned it out a little bit. It was running quite nice though, and started very easily. So, oops. So let's get this fired up again.
think that low end is a little rich. So, <clears throat> I don't know whether you saw that, but the that really bad bodge of a repair on the muffler um, was a complete waste of time, and it's just blown out that end. But anyway, I have to have a look at that. But it still works fine. Still got a hole in the end of the exhaust, and actually. I'm not sure if it sounds a little bit better, but right, so I will start this up now and do a little bit of tuning and see if we can't get it running a little bit smoother. Throttle open a bit. Well, that ran lovely. It took a little bit of time at first, but that was down to my inexperience with the carb, really. I, I, I didn't appreciate how absolutely sensitive this, uh, this low speed adjustment is here. And you just have to turn it a fraction uh, to make quite, quite a difference. But it's very positive, it's quite a stiff, stiff turn, and it, it, it's quite good to do. It's not easy to do, when the engine's running because you need to put quite a lot of pressure on with your fingers quite close. So, but anyway, it took me a little bit of time to get that tuned in. But once I'd got it, got it dialed in, it was lovely. It had a lovely steady idle. Anything really between 2,000, 2,500 RPM. If you see on the film, it's a little bit variable. That's mainly down to my throttle control here, which isn't as good as it could be, and I, I need to, to kind of improve that really. But it idled lovely, and it might still be a tad rich, but the transition up to, what, 12,000 RPM was lovely and crisp, and it, it shot right up. And whether it suffered from having the, the loss of the, the tailpipe, the terminal pipe on this uh, BCM muffler, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's given it a little bit more power because it's reduced the back pressure. But um, it's a shame because uh, that just fell out as soon as the engine started. So it, you know, it just it, it was just a kind of a bit of a mess repair, really, which is a shame on such a beautiful engine. But this is a beautiful engine, and it ran absolutely lovely. I'm really pleased with it, and I hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed running it.